Right now at 5.30, a U.S. Navy lieutenant previously stationed at NES Jacksonville has been sentenced to four years in federal prison, followed by three years probation. Fan Yang was convicted in the fall of buying guns for a Chinese defense contractor who had pleaded guilty to conspiracy and smuggling crimes. As well as failing to disclose his contacts and financial interests involving that bus businessman during a background check for his security clearance. News for Jack's reporter Ann Maxwell was in the courtroom today during the hearing and joins us live. Ann? This hearing lasted nearly four hours today, and the judge wasn't shy about tearing into Yang here in the courtroom, saying the defendant has almost no credibility. Another thing the judge said is that the word compromise kept floating into his head. Remember, this was a naval officer with top secret security clearance who uh, uh, is convicted of lying about his contacts with somebody with ties to the Chinese government, opening himself up to blackmail. From NAS Jacksonville to federal prison, Fan Yang is the fourth person to be convicted as a result of a counterintelligence operation that was made public in 2019. When the FBI and NCIS raided the San Jose home, Yang shared with his wife, Yang Yuki Yang. In 2019, the Yangs and two Chinese nationals were accused of conspiring to evade export controls to smuggle military-grade boat engines and inflatable boats to China, where they would eventually end up in the hands of the Chinese government. The three others have pleaded guilty. The smuggling charges against Yang were dropped, but in November, he was convicted on charges that he illegally bought a gun for one of the Chinese defendants and lied about his contact with them. The government says that compromised Yang, with the judge saying he agrees that the man for whom Yang bought guns, Ge Song Tao, was getting his hooks into Yang for possible detrimental effects in the future. With Yang failing to report his personal and business ties to Song Tao, the prosecution says that the Chinese defense contractor had compromising evidence and huge leverage against Yang. In a statement, the FBI Jacksonville says, quote, Lieutenant Fan Yang swore an oath to protect this country, but instead posed a significant risk to U.S. national security when he failed to report his contact with the head of a Chinese defense contracting firm. The act was even more egregious considering Yang's top secret security clearance and active duty status as an officer in the U.S. Navy. And Yang's four-year sentence is the most severe of the four people involved in this web. Yang's attorney tell, told me today that he plans on appealing Yang's conviction as well as the four-year sentence handed by, down by the judge today. Live downtown and Maxwell, Channel 4, The Local Station.